Hello everyone. Finally going to do the match lighting video today. Um, let me get myself situated here. I'm gonna make sure I'm sitting close enough so I can reach everything. Okay. So I hope you're having a really good weekend so far. Um, sorry I'm posting a day late. I just, um, plans changed yesterday and I didn't have time like I usually do. So, these matches I found in the basement. And I'm assuming, there's a lip balm in here too. I'm assuming that they were my mom's matches before the tornado. So it's entirely possible that these matches, some of them won't light. I do have a little tub of water in here. So, hoping that some of these will light. I'm not going to light all of these. It's probably going to be a pretty short video today. And I've still. I told myself I was going to watch a match lighting video before to see what they normally were like, but I still haven't done that. So, hopefully, there's nothing to it besides just lighting matches. in each book, maybe. Hey, did you guys miss the barking of my dog? You haven't had to listen to that for a long time. I'm sure you really did. Ooh, these matches look kind of golden moldy. I've always had a fascination with fire ever since I was a kid, and especially whenever I became a teenager, I used to like take candles with me in the tub and like pour the wax into the tub to like watch it, you know, solidify in the water. Was really fun. These matches are fun to light. And I used to do this weird thing where I would like cover my belly with Vaseline. Oh, broke that one. There was some way that I would like set myself on fire, <laughs> which I am not suggesting that you do, by the way, but it was like, I would cover my belly in Vaseline just to protect it, and then I would like put hair, maybe like spray hairspray or something, and then I would light it. And so then my <laughs> belly would catch on fire, but it wouldn't hurt me. It would just catch on. 
catch on fire really fast. So, since I used to play with fire a lot, I wasn't really a pyromaniac and I never burned anything down. But once I was um, hanging out with a friend of mine in my bedroom, and I was sitting at my desk facing away from my desk and there was a candle on my desk and I leaned back and my super flammable frizzy hair caught on fire while I was leaning back <laughs> and it was funny because of course I didn't notice at first it was just the frizziness on the back of my head that was on fire and my friend was just sort of like speechless like pointing at the at my head like <laughs> you know and then I realized that my head was on fire. So I did my second radio broadcast today. It's actually still going on at the moment. It won't be by the time you see this. But um, I think it went pretty well. I was pretty insecure about it today because I feel like, like for a while, like a good hour and a half or so during the broadcast, no one was listening. And so it made me really insecure because I worked on, I had a 90s playlist this week and I worked on it for a long time. And it's just one of those things, you know, I've spent a lot of time on this. It's really important to me. And it's sad. And, there, and there's a lot of stuff like that in my life. I spend a lot of time on it, it's important to me, and no one's paying attention. But, I mean, that's not really true. I'm kind of being melodramatic. My serotonin levels are kind of low this week. I've been sort of depressed. So, you know, I've just been sort of taking things a little too seriously. And it turned out um, by the end of the broadcast, which it was supposed to end about 15 minutes ago, I had um, two listeners. Um, one of them was my sister, and she was actually promoting my station on her Facebook and saying that like the music I was playing was perfect for her right now. So instead of ending the broadcast, since my sister was just getting into it, I just decided to keep it going, so now I'm just kind of going off the cuff, which means I need to pay attention in this video in time to go add more songs to the queue. And that also means I'm not monitoring it at the moment, but it's probably still going. I haven't had any problems with it so far. It really does just, it just connects to your iTunes and you play whatever you want and it's really cool. Yeah, this one's pretty gross. You wonder why a person would try to rescue matches from their house post-tornado? But hey, I mean, a lot of them still work, so... Let's see what else. Ooh, that one's really gross, too. I could have cleaned these off beforehand. But then you wouldn't be getting the real experience. And you want the real experience, don't you? Definitely gonna have to wash all the mold off my hands after this. Mine will be the very first match lighting video that includes moldy hands. Should I put that in the tags? I do hope that you have had a great week and um, 
trying to get better at promoting myself, so I guess I'll go ahead and do that now while I'm doing these last matches. Um, if you do want to listen to my radio show, it's, it's the thing that I'm thinking the most about right now. And it's, um, my shows are on Fridays only, unfortunately, but they're on Fridays from 4 p.m. to 8 p.m. Central Standard Time. And they are on the website, it's myradiostream.com slash mixtressradio. And I'm trying to get on an app, but it hasn't gone through yet, so hopefully that'll happen by next Friday, and that way you can listen to it on um, your mobile devices, because right now it's only Flash-based, which is disappointing, because like people are hardly ever just sitting in front of their computers anymore, so that's probably why I haven't had any listeners, or... Today, my only listeners were really um, my good friend Lindsay and my sister. And then a couple other times, there was like another listener for a second, but I don't know who it was because it just shows me the numbers. And if they're not directly communicating with me, I don't necessarily know. So I hope you enjoyed this. I'm pretty sure it's not what you guys had in mind when you requested that I do a match lighting video. You probably weren't thinking to yourself, hmm, moldy matches. Yes, moldy and tornado covered matches. But hey, that's what you got because I'm a booger queen. Also, my nails are all messed up because I, I was painting them in preparation for the video yesterday. But then I got interrupted and I couldn't do the video. But I'm glad to have finally done the match lighting video. And hopefully I'll have something fun for you next week. I've been thinking about doing a typing video because I really like the sound of typing. And then I can do my regular like rambling like I do, but I can just do it via typing. So I was trying to think like what I could have as a background noise, like maybe if it's a peaceful time of day, or maybe I could go out to the cemetery or something and just have like the regular nature sounds in the background while I'm typing, and then you'll see like a view of my screen and you'll hear my fingers typing. So I think that would be a fun one to do. Um, at some point I want to do an eating video. I don't know if this is a trigger for other people, but I have always been really soothed listening to people talk while they're eating. Like every time it's in a movie or something when someone's eating as they're talking, I it's just really calming to me. So I might do an eating video at some point as well. And um, I'll have to look into that. Like what different foods sound better when you're eating them. I even just like, okay, this is gonna sound weird if you don't know what I mean, but I really like when, um, it just, the way that someone's voice changes when they're eating, like it's wetter and just, just this, not even just the sounds of chewing, but the sounds of how a person's voice sounds different when they're eating or drinking. And I just think it sounds cool. So. I will probably do that at some point too, and I have a few other ideas, but for now I will just say goodbye and I'll see you next week. Bye!